Hello all you beautiful people and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So obviously you can tell by the title down below we are going to be going over boxy Lux for the month of March. I am so excited for this box because obviously in this one this is the $50 box um, but we got to choose two items that are in this box and I'm hoping I got the item the sneak peek that I've been seeing everyone getting so I just want to go ahead and just dive into this box. But before we go ahead and do that, you know the gist. If you like videos like this, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell down below so you never miss a video with me, your girl, Senior D. And let's just go ahead and get into this. All right, so if this is your first time to my channel, hello, welcome. Um, I would love for you guys to go ahead and subscribe to my channel because I do unboxings every single month along with doing giveaways and things like that. But I post two to three times a week as much as possible, beauty, lifestyle, makeup, all those types of things. So if that's something that you're interested in, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, and also just to let you know, I do have a current giveaway going on right now with my friend Sharon here on YouTube. Shut up, it's Sharon. Um, I'll leave a link to that video at the bottom of this because I know it's going for two weeks, so I know it's still going to be open when I post this video. And also at the end where we're giving away a $20 e gift card. So yeah. And also if you're curious about the makeup that is on my face, um, I recently just did a review over the Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics um, line, the highlighter in the brusher blush and bronze duos. So make sure you go ahead and check out that video too if you have time to but let's just go ahead and jump into the boxy luxe box so first thing to address the elephant in the room um i got a black box normally it is black but for this month i saw everyone getting the white and green box for boxy Lux, and i'm very sad because i wanted to have that box and put it in the like thumbnail and like show it off maybe i can change this i don't know how to do that yet in photo editing if i can do that in the thumbnail i will try but it is what it is i'm just excited to jump into a boxy lux so obviously this is the 50 month or 50 dollar um subscription box that comes every three months so it is january february march march april may june june September and then December. So this comes four times a year. Um, again, it is worth $50. Um, and then you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight full size products for $50. And you were supposed to have over a $275 value in this box. Now, again, in this box, you're actually able to choose two items. Um, coming up on Monday, I get to choose the stuff for next month, I think. Um, I don't remember. I feel sometimes I miss the like picking uh, picking of choosing of items. I try to set reminders on my phone because sometimes they give you an option to and sometimes I miss it and I get so upset because I don't get to choose like the good items like last month I think I wasn't able to choose that really pretty Ace Beauty palette and I was like man dag nabbit like so upset but I was able to choose my items for this month and um, don't forget to check out I do have um, the boxy premium box which is already up on my channel if you want to check out to see what items I'm giving away in that video for the overall subscription unboxing video I still have ipsy that still needs to come and that will be the final video that will have um, the things that I will be giving away so starting off right off the bat we have an eyeshadow palette which is right here that I see saw that everyone was getting this is by B Beauty um, London this is the Barbarella palette um, I kind of looked at this earlier. I'm not really keen on this palette right now at the moment, but I think I have a friend that would love to have a palette like this because she has a very broken eyeshadow palette by Makeup Revolution. It is like barely holding on for life because she brought in her makeup the other day to work and I was like, I need to hook her up with some type of a new palette because she needs one. And I have a lot of makeup, so. Um, but I always give her stuff when I can, um, for sure. But I always, like, always give stuff to you guys as well. So I know this palette is going to go to her, um, for sure. But we have more items to unbox in this. I'm going to go ahead and put it back in the bubble wrap. But you guys saw what that, what that looked like. Um, this palette is worth $50. I'm going to be honest. This does not look like a $50 eyeshadow palette, first off. Um, and then it's made in China, so obviously you know it was made cheap. 
but obviously it could still have really good quality. I saw someone swatch it. It looked like really good quality, um, but it's by a brand from London. And again, that does not look like it's worth $50. It looks more like maybe $25 to $30 range or maybe even less because Perfusion makes eyeshadows that size and they're like $10 and still of amazing quality. So I don't know how some of these brands do it and how they price their stuff out to be, but it is what it is. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next item, taking off the foam part. Also, tip, if you guys get these boxes and you guys have these, these make really good um, color changing. So if you have a brush, you can just kind of clean it off on these. So hack, if you get those in your Boxy Charm and Boxy Luxes to keep that packaging and to either reuse it to send stuff in or also you can use it to color swatch and color switch. So. Um, moving on to the next item. This is going to be from Dominique Cosmetics. This is a creamy fill in a lip liner. I do not have a lip liner from Dominique Cosmetics yet. Um, so that's really cool. And that, I don't use lip liners that often. Um, but this is what it looks like. I do like it when it is retractable because that's what the tip looks like. Um, it is a very pretty neutral color. So I'm definitely going to go ahead and add this to my collection. This is in the color Crush. So it does look more like a pinky color, but then this looks like really nude. So I'm unsure. I don't want to swatch it yet because I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it. Um, and sometimes I like to keep stuff for giveaways later on. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that to the side, but I am going to go ahead and keep that. That is worth $18. And then the next item I've been seeing popping up in everyone's boxes is this pretty thing. This is the... AMH Kiss the Stars 24 Karat Gold Lip Plumping Mask. Now, I use the Laneige Sleeping Mask, but I don't have a lip plumping mask. Um, so let's find this on here. It says it's 24 Karat Gold Biodegradable Glitter Stars Lip Plumping Mask with Moisturizer Nourishing Lips. Expects a tingling sensation and softening kissable lips. This is worth $42, which is really cool. So $42 there. Um, and then moving on to the next item. This is the item I really wanted. I do not own anything by Glow Recipe in my collection. Um, so this is the Glow Recipe Plump Plump Hydrolonic Serum worth $42. You guys know I love skincare. I love serum. I have serums right next to my um, vanity because I like to put them on before I start my makeup or put serums on at nighttime before I go to bed. And those serums are actually almost empty. So it's almost time for me to switch those out um, once they are fully empty and then put something new into it. But the sixth thing, this, so this is what it looks like. So pretty. Um, it does have a pump on it. Now I really wanted the, when the watermelon, oh no, it doesn't have a pump on it. Yes, it does. The lid just doesn't want to come off. I think it has a pump. Yeah, it does. So there it goes. Pumps right there for us. Super cute. Um, how many ounces is this? This is one fluid ounce or 30 milliliters. So I think that's super adorable. Um, I don't know exactly. Sometimes they make them look like fruits. I don't know what kind of fruit this is supposed to look like um, or what the notes are. Actually, this is supposed to be... Uh, what kind of fruit is that on the front? Um, oh, it's supposed to look like a plum. Duh, Sandra. So it looks like a plum is what it's supposed to be. Uh, but yes, I'm definitely going to go ahead and keep that and add that to my collection. That is super exciting. Ugh, I've been wanting something like Glow Recipe for so long, especially when that watermelon line came out. Okay, enough said about that. Moving on. Okay, so there wasn't... When I went to go pick up my items, there were like a few selections I liked and a few selections I didn't like. And then... So, this item was something I kind of chose on a whim because everyone's been talking about the Revlon hair brush thing that's come out recently um, and I actually, able, actually was able to pick up one by Foxy Bakes. I own the straightener um, and so I bought that and I will tell you I love it. Now my hair looks, this is like days and days later of hair after using the tool but the first day I used it, it looked stunning like a beautiful blowout. It was amazing. So the Foxy Bay one, you can find it at Marshalls, you can find it at TJ Maxx. I would definitely say give it a go, give it a try. And it's aesthetically pleasing because it's black and gold. You guys saw me um, show that off in my Marshalls haul video. So anyways, raving on, or I'm rambling, but to go on, there was an option for a mini heat brush and this is in apricot. This is what it looks like. You guys can see it right there. I'm not going to take it fully out of its packaging because I don't want to unravel it. Um, but it is a mini heating tool hairbrush. So I'm not going to keep this now that I have the other one from Foxy Bay. Even though that one is a little bit more on 
the bulkier side and this one is more on the travel size friendly. I'm going to be honest, when I'm traveling, I'm not going to really want to straighten my hair. I normally have my hair curly all the time because it's just my natural hair and that's how it is. So I'm going to go ahead and put this into this month's giveaway. So the price of this is going to be $150. Are you kidding me? Where is this brand from? California? But this is made in China. $150. Y'all are tripping because this ain't worth $150. This little thing, no. This is worth like, I don't know, $30 because the Revlon one is like four times the size of this and that's $40. So someone tell me um, how this is worth that because there is some technology into it. It's a ceramic um, trimline bristles that glide through your hair. Infrared technology that locks in moisture and frizz. Um, rapidly heats up to 400 degrees. Heat resistant bristles and dual voltage for worldwide use. So that's cool, but still, $150, nah. Mm -mm. Nope, 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 because that would say that that's probably worth the price of the box. I don't think it is, not at all. Moving on. All right, so we have three items that are left in here. So the other item I was able to pick out, which I'm super excited about, is another Fenty product. I love that Fenty is in BoxyCharm. Actually, Fenty is the reason why I even signed it for Boxy Premium when it was probably about a year and a half ago when they did that uh, Fenty premium box and I was so mad because when premium first came out I didn't I thought about signing up for it and I didn't and if I would have then I would have gotten that beautiful box that had all the Fenty stuff in it but in general I've been able to get a bunch of different stuff over um, this past year from Fenty so we have the Fenty Beauty while wow, I was putting this stuff away the Fenty Beauty soft matte long wear foundation so it's actually a foundation that is on my face right now at the moment but it actually is a shade um, a little bit too dark for me. So I was actually able to pick up a lighter shade, but this looks pretty fair, um, fairer than I think it needs to be. So hopefully I can just kind of mix the two shades together and probably get the right shade for me. Um, but yeah, cause the other one isn't, I think in 230 and this one is in 110. So when I was trying to figure out my shade online, um, this was one of the fair shades and I thought when it gave me like what the complexion of it's supposed to be. I thought this was the best one for me, but apparently not. So, but obviously I don't know. It's what's just in the glass packaging, um, but we'll figure that out later. But so that is worth $36. Then we have the Rose Quartz Hair Mask. Um, this is meant for just as a regular hair mask. It hits zero sulfates. Um, and then sodium chloride, paraben, it's all free of all this stuff. And then it suits all hair types. It is safe to use on chemically processed. It's vegan, certified cruelty free, and made in the U.S. I love that. It's made in the U.S. That's really cool. So really cute packaging for sure. I wonder what it smells like. I've been needing a new hair mask inside my shower anyways, but I just got that IGK one. So I'm wondering if I should even open this one up yet um, or use that IGK one, but I just want to smell it. It smells pretty. It smells like a flower. So I'm excited for that because I do have a hair mask in my shower right now. It's the Suave one that I got in a long time ago from the influencer website um, as like a promo product. But I'm almost out of that. So I definitely need to have a backup of some sorts. Again, that's worth $31. And the very last item that I am so excited because I only own a few items by this brand, which it's going to be Beauty Bakery. This is just like super cute and so on theme for Easter. But Easter, is it Easter this month or is it next month? I don't know, because I know St. Patty's Day is this month, which is obviously why the card is themed Lucky. But this is just like so on trend for the upcoming holidays. Um, so we do have the Beauty Bakery Blending Egg Sponges. Obviously they are soft. Um, and I believe they are, they're $18 and they are in some cool new colors that they're talking about on here. So $18, it looks like it is in this little cute egg curtain. Um, sorry for the sound of packaging and trying to open this up, but this is just so adorable. Okay. Opening it up. I want to know. I want to see because I saw the colors from what, um, the other girl I was just watching a second ago had, and I'm hoping mine are either the same colors or different colors. They had different colors, so they're exactly the same. So you get six beauty sponges in here, 
and they're in green which is like this pastel type of turquoise type of green and then a like a vibrant pink shade so I can never get enough of beauty blenders I need them I go through them go through them pretty frequently actually so I think I use like the same two for probably about a month and then I get rid of them I wash them every single day but obviously after washing them and draining them out the sponge can sometimes tend to break down um, but I've been trying to find a really good sponge to use lately my favorite one so far that I've used out of all the different brands that I've tried um, I love the Huda Beauty one that I got in BoxyCharm, and I love the um, Real Technique ones, the orange ones. Those ones are actually really cute, so I'm excited to uh, give these a go, um, but the packaging is just so bulky. Obviously, it is in an egg carton, so I'll probably end up taking these out um, and putting them into just my drawer and just to a, a regular just into the drawer, I guess, just in general. So that is everything that I got in this box. So I'm I'm in love with this box so far because the first one I got, I thought I got pretty let down by BoxyCharm. It wasn't that great. Um, but again, check out that video. I'll link it down below or put it at the end of this video so you guys can check out my Boxy Premium uh, because obviously this month I got the Lux box instead of the base box. So those are the two boxes I've gotten so far and then Ipsy should be coming up soon. But I'm pretty much keeping everything in this box besides one item which is that hair tool. But hey, I am happy to go ahead and give that away to you guys because one of you would love to have it um, more than I would. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's see, add this up so we can see what the actual value of our box is. So $50 for the eyeshadow palette, $42 for the glow recipe, $36 for the foundation, $31 for the hair mask, $18 for the sponges, $18 for the lip liner, $42 for the lip plumper, and then $150 for the um, heating tool. So the total value of our box comes out to be $387, which is actually pretty good, but, 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 if you take out the price of that hair tool, then it drops it down to $237, and we're supposed to get over a $275 value, I believe, in this box. Either way, though, I think I got my money's worth because I only paid $52 and some change obviously with taxes and shipping and things like that um, for this box so definitely worth it the glow recipe so excited Fenty amazing Dominique cosmetics that's another influencer the beauty bakery sponges um, this I'm not really that wild about but it looks pretty cool to kind of just try out for Instagram or anything else like that so we're good and then the hair mask love to give that a go especially since it's a US made brand I love supporting that um, more than when things are just made out of the country obviously it's a little more cost effective for brands but we won't get into that so that is my unboxing for boxy luck so yeah keep an eye out for ipsy coming up soon don't forget to go ahead and enter into my giveaway and i appreciate you guys stopping by and watching my video for today so before we end this video, you know the gist. If you like videos like this, don't forget this video a big thumbs up. You know it helps me out so, so much. Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel because you know you want to. And don't forget to hit that notification bell down below so you miss a video with me, your girl, Senior D, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.